Hello, welcome there. This is Talents and Gospel, and this is Dark Mentors. So I'm very happy to release this particular uh, teaching today. Uh, we're just going to be doing some comparison, you know, between uh, JavaScript and TypeScript for Web3 development. You know, many of you would be asking this question because I've also had, you know, people, you know, ask, you know, requesting that I write my tutorials on you know javascript and not typescript you know and all of that and of course we have a bunch of uh courses and teaching tutorials that we've done with javascript which is good but typescript you know there's a reason why i must i'm writing with typescript in this video i'm going to show you the advantage javascript has in web trade development versus the advantage that TypeScript does have, you know, uh, for Web3 development as well. So sit tight. And if you have not, you know, subscribed to this channel, please hit that like and subscribe button and the notification bell so that you will not miss out on any essential topics that are being released on this channel. And again, also, I want to remind you, you know, to sign up for DAP Mentors, okay? Sign up for DAP Mentors because we are going to be releasing courses, four courses, okay? And put part of those courses are going to be on that Mentors platform, that Mentors Academy platform for free as well, because I will not be releasing every aspect of those courses on YouTube here because that will make the tutorial too lengthy. Um, I'm going to just shorten some things and make things in a little bit uh, better. But of course, it's not going to affect the tutorial in any way. Or the, it's well pre uh, prepared to to serve in any way so don't worry about that it's going to be awesome so please sign up for that mentors and get ready to partake in this challenge that is coming now you know i've already you know elaborated on all the prizes to be won on this particular challenge that is coming on this channel please go and review that video okay that video check it out and know all the price advantages for the three levels that are going to be benefiting in this particular you know uh, challenge that is coming on the channel all right so let us start with um, examining the advantages that typescript does have you know for web trade development and then we'll later look at the advantages that JavaScript does have, and then you make, you know, your well-informed decision on that. And then, uh, if you have any area that you need to level up between these two stack, you know, then you can do that as well. Okay. So, the first thing, the first point there that you know, uh, TypeScript does have over um, for web trade development that you need to be aware and you need to really, really consider is in Static typing, my God, I cannot uh, overemphasize the benefit of this. Static typing is really, really essential, you know, when you are developing web trade, you know, for web trade. Okay, first of all, if you think about it, using Solidity, Solidity is, is it statically typed, statically typed? Am I saying that correctly? Statically, statically typed uh, <laughs> language which means it has you know a data type definition you have to define the data type you have to define you know the return type for function function parameters the data type so so that variables cannot carry um values that were not defined for them you understand it's very important and this really really minimizes error some errors a lot of errors that you know, arises in programming from, you know, you assigning wrong va variables or not returning function returns, you know. You see, because TypeScript is stat statically typed and Solidity is statically typed, when you combine the both of them together, it's so much better. Like this, for example, the struct in Solidity is the same thing as interface in TypeScript. So it just goes a long way to help you to define the you know data types you know that are just you know right there in your Solidity smart contract. You can just bring it up to TypeScript and thing just matches. So it's such a great advantage you know right there. I am not just telling you this. I'm telling you based on experience. It makes my work 
you know, precise, clean, and on point. You understand that? So I will give TypeScript, you know, a a, a huge, you know, five star rating on that one. You know, if, when you compare it to barebone JavaScript. Okay. So another thing that you should understand that uh, TypeScript does provide you for Web3 development, you know, is the optional par uh, properties and optional parameters. Okay. This is very, very important. Okay. Like when you're supplying, for example, you're supplying some parameters, you know, into a function or into an object, you can, you know, TypeScript has a way of indicating if this is going to be a an optional one so it does not force you to utilize it meanwhile that provision is not readily available in barebone javascript in vanilla javascript but with typescript you can mark some properties some properties and objects to be you know uh, optional you know or not so that is a, a a big bonus right there and i will really give um typescript another you know high score on that one Okay, um, on that thing that you should take note of here is that TypeScript generally just gives you a better development experience. And I'm gonna explain that. You know, for example, code navigation, navigating around codes and, you know, it's very easy with TypeScript because TypeScript provides all that, you know, uh, type, uh, start type definitions and all of those things. So it makes it easy for you to navigate between, you know, um, uh, uh, navigate between your codes. Okay. Secondly, it provides auto completion. Okay. Auto completion is very important when you're typing, you need to be able to foresee if a, a certain property is present in an object for, you know, or you know, in an array, or you need to be able to know the data, the information that a function does contains or a function does require. You know, so that ability for TypeScript to just provide you with snapshots of all this information is just great, absolutely great. And also, it makes refactoring, code refactoring, really, really on point. Like, whomever brought that. Um, TypeScript, you know, you know, brought the whole idea of TypeScript into JavaScript realm. May God bless that person. That person is just great. You know, <laughs> that is just a fantastic um, ideas that have been brought into programming. And I really appreciate that, you know, from experience. Okay. So I'm not just telling you from, you know, uh, a theory. I'm telling you from practical that, you know, uh, it makes development experience phenomenal, up amazing. All right. So, that is for better development experience. You know, there is also uh, there is also <laughs> this. You know, this is web three development, right? Do you know that there are a lot of blockchain network that are bringing that are integrating um, TypeScript SDKs, SDKs that are built with TypeScript for development reasons. This is really cool. Okay, it means that if you know JavaScript and you know TypeScript then you can be a, 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 an in-demand, you know, Web3 developer because all these blockchain networks that are bringing, that are providing, you know, uh, TypeScript, TypeScript SDKs, it means that you, you develop your smart contract, for example, this Solidity that you're writing, you don't need to even write Solidity, you write it in, in uh, what's it called? You write your code in TypeScript instead of Solidity. Isn't that just amazing? So you know one language, which is JavaScript. For all of you that know JavaScript, may God bless you, man, because you, you just reduce your load. You don't need to learn so many programming language for you to be able to be a, a full-fledged web trade developer. Or you just need that JavaScript, and then you know that JavaScript very well. Then you can actually be a five-star blockchain developer, you know, web trade developer. So, for example, there are some companies that have you know, search and seen. For example, we have Massa SDK. Massa has has an SDK that you can utilize, you know, and for their, you know, blockchain network, build a solution around their blockchain network. You know, we have ICP, ICP, which is Internet Computer. They have this 
Asdale SDK that is built with TypeScript as well. And you can use that, you know, to build, you know, smart contract on the ICP network. In that we have um, Aleo. Aleo also have an SDK. This is just a few of them that is built with TypeScript, you know, and you can use that to build smart contract on their network. So this blockchain network, they are using TypeScript. And if you, they are using TypeScript to build the next generation blockchain, blockchain networks, you know, the next level blockchain network. So, uh, a blockchain program, sorry. So, if you understand TypeScript, that is a big advantage for you. And I really will encourage you that you know that. Okay. And lastly, for the advantages that you get as, you know, using TypeScript for development of Web3 projects is that um, job requirements, right? Many of you are going out, you know, looking for job, you know, respect that. That is great, you know, but one thing that could really heighten your, 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 your chances of landing that job is if you add TypeScript to your mix, if you add TypeScript to your mix, it's very useful all around space of JavaScript world. Even though you're working on the back end, for example, you're using Node.js and all of that, you can add um, TypeScript to your stack and then enhance the quality of your development for backend. If you put it on the front end, you enhance the quality of your product. So anything you just add TypeScript, so it just makes it a lot better you know, and all of that. So those are the advantages. So adding, you know, TypeScript, you know, in, enhances your job, you know, uh, chances, your chances of learning those great Web3 jobs because they are being added now to job description for Web3 developers. Okay. So in the next section now, I'll start highlighting the advantages that you get, you know, for, you know, the JavaScript uh, people. All right. So let's do that. So now let's explain some advantages that you get, you know, developing with JavaScript. Okay. And um, one of them is ease of use, ease of use. I must admit it's a lot easier to code with JavaScript than with TypeScript. Okay. It's not like TypeScript is difficult or so, but for a beginner level developer, you might want to just use JavaScript because JavaScript is really simple. It has a simple syntax, you know, it's developer friendly and it's very great for small projects, small projects, you know, developing, learning, you know, blockchain development, learning web three development, you know, it's good that you can start with, you know, JavaScript. I respect that and I will encourage you to use that, you know, and then later on you can, you can improve and add up other stack stories such as TypeScript. Okay. That is one. Another advantage is its flexibility. Okay. It's quite flexible and easy to use um, vanilla JavaScript because for example, in vanilla JavaScript, you can run a, a variable can, can, can actually be used to store different kind of data type. A variable can store Boolean value. One, one variable can store Boolean value, uh, integer, which is a number, you know, uh, strings and uh, arrays, object, whatsoever it can be stored. It can dynamically, you know, be stored without you know, having to check for type, type checking, but in TypeScript, <laughs> you can do that. That will be checked by TypeScript and it's going to be flagged as error. Okay. You're not allowed to do that with TypeScript, but with JavaScript, that is just simple. You know, no, it's not a crime, you know, but in TypeScript it's definitely a crime. Okay. It also have, um, browser support okay browser support you know with vanilla javascript you can just write it on your browser and that works just fantastically every time okay you put the code on your browser you put it outside of your browser it, ru it runs just fine and that kind of make it faster in runtime you know in comparison to um 
to TypeScript that has to be transpired to JavaScript before it actually run. You know, that is one funny thing about TypeScript. It doesn't just work out, out of the box like that. It has to be transpired into the vanilla JavaScript language before it starts executing whether in the browser or outside of the browser. So that is one thing you must understand about TypeScript. You know, for JavaScript, the vanilla JavaScript, it just run, you know, on the go like that. And it's faster because of, you know, there is no need to transpire, you know, before it can be used. And lastly, for JavaScript, the advantages you get, you know, being a regular JavaScript uh, developer for Web3 development is that it can be easier for test cases, okay? This is experiential, all right? Like on my tutorials, I may write, you know, I may be writing codes, you know, on using TypeScript and all of those things, but when it comes to testing, I just seem to switch back to JavaScript because it's a lot simpler for me to use it to just test, you know, my codes without having to, you know, write so many voluminous set of instructions and all of that because that is what comes in that is the downside of of typescript when you bring in typescript that means you have to type more codes than you know sometimes that is necessary you know because of the rules the type checking and all of those you know conventions that typescript brings in so it can be a lot easier for writing test cases when dealing with bare javascript all right, in comparison to TypeScript. Yeah, so that is, those are the advantages that you get, you know, just being a regular JavaScript developer. So what is my opinion? What is my opinion about this? What do you think? And what is my verdict around this? Okay, this is just my opinion. You might carry your own opinion, but from my perspective, being a blockchain developer that is working on this technology on a daily basis, I'm writing. In fact, currently right now, I've just finished developing two projects that out of the four projects I will be doing for this uh, challenge on this channel, I've just finished working on them and I'm going, I'm, I'm moving forward into developing the third and then the fourth one, which will be released on this channel, you know, for you folks to enjoy, you know, and partake on the giveaway that we're doing on this channel as well. So for someone like me that work on this technology on a daily basis, I have seen that, man, it's a lot cleaner, a lot much better performance and you know, and precise to use TypeScript, you know, in, in comparison to, to vanilla JavaScript. But I will not say that one should abandon one of them, but you should have a taste of these two technologies because having a taste of the both of them just makes it easier for you to understand the core language. You, before you can work with TypeScript, you, you gotta know JavaScript. You can't just skip JavaScript and land in TypeScript, okay? so. For that reason, JavaScript is really, really important. So you have to start from JavaScript. But after you understood JavaScript, you master JavaScript, you need to learn TypeScript because that will make you and um, make you ace the language to ace the the the, the 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 stack. You understand that? So you need to know the both of them. Start with JavaScript, but all, but be be approaching, be moving forward as soon as possible to TypeScript because that will really make you a better, you know, developer in no time. So that is my idea about it. Please, please, please do not forget to like and subscribe this video, share, you know, and hit the notification bell. And don't forget to sign up for that Mentors Academy so that you can, you know, gain the experience and enjoy every aspect of this challenge that is going to be coming you know, into this channel. So I am Darlington Gospel and I'm really glad to have, you know, shared my experience and my ideas concerning, you know, TypeScript versus JavaScript for Web3 development. So I will see you in the next tutorial.